Hello Andy. Today we have a couple of chords and a few other things for you to look at with me helping you on my guitar. The first thing we're going to look at today is our G or G major chord. Okay, very still with the left hand. So that involves the first finger playing the fifth string on the second fret, the sixth string on the third fret, and the first string on the third fret. So that's your first finger, your second, and your third, because we've got one, two, three, four fingers and a thumb on the left hand. So there it is, first finger on the fifth string, second fret, second finger on the sixth string, third fret, and the third finger on the first string, third fret, and that's called a G chord, or G major. We play all the strings. And what we're gonna try and do is do four strums on that chord. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the G chord. That was the chord we learnt last week. Then we're gonna to go to a D chord. We're gonna play five strings. The fifth string, fourth, third, second, first, but we're gonna leave out the big string. The big string sounds wrong. Okay, so we want it, we can start on the fifth string. You just have to listen. Try not to, you already told me today you're not gonna look at the right hand, that's good. So here's the D chord. How do we play a D chord? With the first finger, this one, plays the third string on the second fret. The second finger, this one, plays the first string on the second fret. And the third finger, the one I'm waving, plays the second string on the third fret. So that's the first finger, the second and the third forms a little D major chord. And we play five strings. Trying to start on the fifth string. Try not to look down. Remember, strumming's coming from the wrist and the forearm. There it is. One, two, three, four. Now, if we start on the G chord, we've got one, two, three, four, and then change to the D chord. But go slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And finish with one strum on the G chord. So we're changing from the G to the D, back to the G to the D, and then we're going to finish on the G chord with one strum or down stroke. We call them strokes or strums. Okay, so fingers like little hammers just behind the frets. Okay, if you like, you can stop that video, Hayden. Stop now. And you can stop that.